trick you can do with a normal deck of cards. I will give you the performance and then the tutorial. So it's called the Whispering Queen. So you get the two queens out of the deck. Okay, there they are. The Queen of Clubs, the Queen, and the Queen of um, Hearts. So you get those out of the deck. And then you have a spectator pick card. So they pick this card. I'm not looking at it. I'm showing it to you. I don't want to see it. Got it? Alright, so you tell them to keep that card. And then you tell them to tell you when to stop. So they say stop right here. So then you put their card where they exactly where they said stop. So there's your card. Put it right there where they said stop. And then all you do now is um, uh, get the card lost in the deck. So give the card a couple cuts. Get the cards a overhand shuffle. Um, and give the cards just a couple regular shuffles. Um, another regular shuffle. Until the spectator is satisfied. They say they're satisfied right there. Um, they don't want any more shuffles. So then you take the queens, put one on the bottom, one on the top. And you say, look. My, the queens are going to find their card. And then you say 3, 2, 1. Throw the cards over. And then the queens strap one card. And other than your card, the four of clubs. There's the trick. I'll show you the uh, tutorial next. <laughs> Alright, here's the tutorial for the Whispering Queens. Um, so, you can do this with a normal deck of cards. There's no setup. There's just a little sleight of hand. So, you get the two queens out. Or, you could do it with any two cards. But, I like the two queens because the tricks are the whispering queen. So you get the two um, queens out and then you add a spectator uh, pick a card. It truly is a free choice. It really doesn't matter. So in this case, it's the eight of diamonds. So after this, you um, ask, ask the spectator to tell you when to stop. So they say stop here. You put their card right where they said stop at. And then you catch a pinky break, um, which is just a little break that you um, just put a little pressure with your pinky right there. So you catch a pinky break right above their card. So you just put a little pressure. And then they can't tell you have a break if you cover it up a little. And then you just give a w couple cuts. And then right when you get to that pinky break, so... You know their card is right there, so you want to put the rest of the cards on top. So now, you know their card is on top. So after this, you want to somehow force the card to the bottom. So I like to do an overhand shuffle, which is, so you take their card, which is on top now, and you put one in your hand, and then just start putting piles, and piles, and piles, until all the cards are gone, and now you have their card on the bottom. After this, you can give a couple shuffles. It doesn't matter as long as that card stays on the bottom. So to get it to stay on the bottom with a shuffle, all you do is put that card down first, and then you shuffle freely, square the cards up, and the card will still be on the bottom. You can do a couple, of, I mean, false cuts. It doesn't matter as long as that card's on the bottom. You could do your own cuts. It doesn't matter as long as that card stays on the bottom. After that, you get the two queens, put one on top, and one on the bottom. You don't want to put it all the way on the bottom because that would cover up that card. You, you want, you say, well, I want you to see the queens. So you put the cards out like this where they can see both queens. Now, they can't see this, but on the back side, you want your four fingers on their card, 
and then your palm on the queen. So when you, and then your thumb on the uh, other queen. So when you go real fast, the queens catch a card in the middle of them, which would be the bottom card. So I card the catch. And um, that card is none other than the Eight of Diamonds. You can show them that. It's a cool trick to get great reactions. I hope y'all like it. Subscribe.